March the 17th, famous the, the world over for the Malaysian Grand Prix, but I believe it's also famous for St. Patrick's Day, Eddie. I thought that should be the other way around, isn't it? <laughs> that was St. Patrick's Day for anyone who's Irish. I think there's a statistic that there's only two or three million people in Ireland, but there are 38 million Irish passports, so that might lead to some controversy. But everybody's proud to be Irish today, even through blood connections or family connections or anything. It's a very special day in our upbringing, I suppose, and that's what makes it famous. Also, obviously, you've got a very large Irish contingent in your team, just a selection around here today. Well, I think uh, certainly Gary and I, uh, we've been, when we weren't in teams together as long far back as maybe 25 years ago, we used to fight like hell. But one thing we always celebrated was St. Patrick's Day. And now Gary has been with me, I suppose, since the late 80s and been a very major contributor to the whole ethos about Jordan. And uh, the fact that he was from Coleraine on the other side of the border, we were always great friends. And that made it very special. Now, as more and more time, a lot of the younger guys coming and, and uh, Irish people generally are good hard workers and they get on with it and they don't slack, so I'm always happy to have good Irish people in the team. Gary, question to you. Um, some teams are famous for turning their drivers over to their own nationality. I noticed you haven't turned Giancarlo Fisichella into Giancarlo Fisichella for today. Any reason for that? Uh, well, not yet. Actually. We'll probably call him on the radio a bit and, and to try and see if we can recognise that, but no, he's a good guy. He can stay Italian. Excellent. And um, obviously another Irishman down the pit lane, also from the other side of the border, Mr. Eddie Irvine. Uh, I'm surprised you're not up here celebrating with you, or do you have to stay in your teams today? Well, Eddie and I, we've been, and, and Gary's been involved with it. We've been right with him since Formula 3000 days. And uh, what I find is significant, he's always carried the shamrock on the back of his helmet from the early stages. And I think that's a symbol of Irish people in general, whatever nationality or whatever beliefs that they may have you can't take away the fact where we were born we're born in this little island off the coast of, of England and um, we're Irish people through and through and when you're traveling a lot I think there's a lot of camaraderie between the various things he'll obviously give me a couple of swipes and I'll give him a couple of swipes but that's part of the joy in it but finally when the racing's over today regardless of the outcome how are you going to celebrate I'm afraid the outcome will have a major factor. I mean, if it's anything like Australia, we'll all want to commit suicide. And if it's like what we would like, a couple of points and get on the, the leaderboard a bit and make sure we get up there in the race and have a safe but obviously a productive race, um, well, we will party harder than anyone, I suppose, because of the day. Well, the very best of Irish, Stu. Thank you very much. Thank you.